The side of wildlife photography that I enjoy the most is the research, trying to find a subject to photograph. I actually enjoy this more than I enjoy taking the photographs, but it does require long hours in the field. I know that in our cemeteries in the spring, there's a very good chance of finding fox cubs. It's a very common place for them to be. But you've got to put the time in. And often, I wish I'd got two pairs of eyes to help me. Hi. In last week's film, which was about great crested grebes in a city park, I talked about how tame and approachable wildlife becomes in our city parks, but also mentioned the same things happens in our cemeteries. And this cemetery doesn't just get people here tending the graves, it's a major commute route as well. Eight o'clock in the morning and five o'clock in the afternoon, there's people walking through this cemetery. I don't know where they're going to, but there's obviously a place of work around here, a big factory or something. And so there's lots of people walking through this cemetery. The wildlife becomes tame and approachable. And today we're going to have a look at photographing foxes. So today's film is thanks to Frederick Desmond, who's a Belgian photographer who lives in the UK and is one of the best wildlife photographers in the UK. I'll put a link to his, his, his website and his Facebook page in the, in the description. And he's one of the best because he does a lot of his own original stuff where he's out in the field finding things and, and, and doing all the wrecking, which is the hard part of wildlife photography. This is the spot where Frederick has told me the foxes are going to appear. Behind that hedge there's a garden with a shed and the hole or the earth was underneath the shed. So you spend all your time staring into the shadows of this hedge and trying to make up your mind. Did I just see some movement then? Was that a fox cub? There's plenty of other things to keep you entertained while you're watching. There was a robin clearly feeding young on the nest. And a blackbird. And one of my favourite birds, the wood pigeon. You always get wood pigeons in churchyards. I like wood pigeons because they know how to pose for the photographer. They take up lovely postures. This one is going a courting. And that was definitely movement. There's something there under the hedge. It's been about an hour's wait so far. The pigeon doing a proper display now. And there's the vixen. I've seen the vixen. She's climbed up on a wall. It's amazing how foxes can climb. They're very nimble. She's got a good vantage point from here. She can see me very clearly. And there's the cub, or one of the cubs. How cute is that? Two cubs.
Just want them to come out completely in the open. Now the vixen's running across. She's very used to people. There's people in the cemetery itself and people in the gardens. And she is fed. There's several people around the cemetery who feed her. Very noticeable that the cubs only show themselves once the vixen turned up. As they get older, they become more confident and come out when the vixen's not there. Three cubs. But the other thing they do as they get older is they start to wander further away. At least at the moment, they are restricted to this very small area. Now we get the vixen with the cubs. She's looking at me, I'm totally out in the open, but she's not bothered, just keeping an eye on me. I didn't actually see the vixen suckle the youngsters, she must have done that on the quiet behind one of the greystones, but she soon disappeared. She climbed up on top of one of the sheds where the young can't get to her, because I imagine they pester her a lot, and just lay down. But this is the right time of year to be looking for fox cubs, end of April, beginning of May. That's when they first start to come out of the hole, or the earth they're living in, and that was a a wonderful sight. I did enjoy that. Thanks for watching.